In today's reading, we're asking the question, will I find love again? And if you are going to find love again, when will it be? We're going to do a Celtic cross. We're going to ask the oracles for clarification. And we're also going to pull some other things. So you're going to have to watch and find out. I've got three readings for you today, one, two and three. If you already know which reading you want to go to, then please use the timestamps below. Don't waste any time, just jump straight there. I'm more than happy for you to do that. I'm going to do a card selection meditation for those of you that like your energy to be drawn towards a reading. If you haven't already, then subscribe so that you don't miss out on your weekly uplift readings and your monthly predictions. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes so that we can go through the meditation. When you open your eyes again, whichever reading you're drawn towards is the reading the universe wants you to go to. If at the last moment you um, change your mind or you just find yourself torn between two, whichever reading you end up at is the reading where the universe has got a message for you. The whole reading may not resonate, but there'll be a message in there for you somewhere. So watch it closely. You may want to get a pen and paper and take notes or save in a playlist. So if you close your eyes, take a nice deep breath out and a nice normal breath back in again. Imagine that you're in the most beautiful forest that you have ever seen. There's a light breeze and it's blowing through the leaves and the sun is just really warm in the sky and it's glowing. You're going to walk along the path and as you do, you can feel the stones beneath your shoes and it's just nice and warm and you've got a nice warm feeling inside you and all of your cares and all of your worries are just floating away. Your mind is just clearing and there's nothing else to think about other than feel, feeling the warmth of the sun. The sun is going to slowly get brighter and as it does, you're going to open your eyes. Now slowly open your eyes and whichever reading that you're drawn towards is the reading that is for you today. You can now use the timestamps below to jump straight to your reading. To make this video as accessible as possible, you can add captions, auto-generated, they're about 95% correct. You can slow the video down and you can speed the video up so we work at your pace. You can change the quality of the screen so that you can see the cards, turn it to 1080. You can also add it to a playlist, watch later or create your own. This is what I do with ASMR videos and also the timestamps are in the comments below. Welcome to today's Pick a Card Tower reading. You've been drawn to reading number one. In this reading we're going to be exploring will you find love again and if it looks likely that you will kind of when it might be it's going to use oracle cards for any insights that we need i'm going to do the rider white deck with a um celtic cross i've got where you might meet or how you might meet I've got a month any month that's gonna stick out and kind of like a time frame for when it's going to turn into something real if it is so i've already reset both the decks i do that by dealing the cards into four and then i give them a good shuffle i like to do this because i like to close down any energy from a previous reading so that we open up brand new energy for brand new reading i don't like there to be any confusion so if you haven't already then subscribe i'm going to split the deck into four Four elements, four seasons, and most importantly, four angels. Four angels are going to surround us and offer us a circle of protection so that our energy can flow safely and securely. The universe has brought you here, and it's going to, we're now going to get a message from the cards to you about will you find love again and possibly when. So, my energy has been instantly drawn towards this one. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. So this is about the question, so that's the five of wands reversed, which is about you're going through problems at the moment. So this is about you and the question 
we have the Queen of Wands reversed, which is about someone who's interfering or someone who's been unfaithful. So there, I think the reason why you're single now is because you've had a relationship before that was really quite problematic and it was quite difficult. And I think your main fear is if you were to meet someone, would they cheat on you? Can you trust them with your money? Can you trust them with your well-being? So that's kind of where I think we're at. So, okay, we're going to go through what you're going through. You're going through a change within yourself, which is good. What you're trying to achieve is the three of wands reversed, which is, I think what you're trying to achieve isn't the right direction for you because the three of wands reversed is often about misdirection. So I think what you're trying to achieve isn't what you should be trying to achieve. So I think maybe what you're trying to achieve is you want to be with someone but you're not really doing anything to make it happen and or you might be dating people but you then get scared so i think all your efforts going in into the wrong things when it should be going in a positive thing so what we have now is the ten of swords which is about relationships ending self-sabotage betrayal you know you're i think you're still really really very hurt by whatever it is someone's done to you in the past opportunities coming up we have the king of swords reversed which is about exploitation and confrontation your opportunity coming up is to finally once and for all come to terms with what has ever happened with you and your ex and really overcome them so your secret question is the empress reversed which is about home and upset so maybe you need to get settled at home there's you've got insecurity it feeds back to where we started from so your secret underlying question is more or less the same thing are you going to have security in the future you've got a lot of fear maybe you even thought about connecting with your ex in some way you may have been living together you may have been sharing a bank together you may have been sharing something and you're worried about getting into that level of um commitment and connection again so that's your secret fear and now timing to move forward is the strength card reversed which is oh, i'm losing my breath which is all about feeling unempowered so when we can get to the point where the strength is the other way up that's when you're going to start moving forward the attainment that we're looking to achieve is the two of swords which is in a balance it's brilliant so you can achieve achieve the inner balance and the like quieting of the struggle that's within you you are going to go through harmony and you are going to go through a period of healing and you're going to be keeping the peace so you can't do that until you've confronted everything that your ex has done and how toxic your relationship is but you have got the ability i think it's going to take a while it all depends on at what point you can get your confidence back the sooner you can get your confidence back is the sooner that you're going to be able to be open to let someone in so possible outcomes fantastic the eight of wands once you have got your confidence back once you've truly put your ex behind you if there's anything you're still connected in some way you need to get disconnected as soon as possible you've got the death cards you're changing you are growing stronger you are doing that so the moment the strength is turned around you're going to gain inner harmony you're going to have all your inner struggles you're going to just feel that surge of energy and love for yourself to come straight back in the eight of wands is fantastic for your possible outcome because it's showing me that once we get to this point you're going to move forward really really quickly really very quickly there's going to be good news there may be a lot of messages involved there's going to be fast progress and once I think once you get that seed of confidence, it's just going to grow. And that's just what we want to see. You have been through a lot. I don't like your ex. From what I see on this board of what they put you through, I don't like them. I don't like to make judgment on people, but it's clear to me that they left you very insecure. They left you. They 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 were not interested in your well-being at all you are interested in their well-being and you put your own well-being on a back foot this is all going to change you've you know 
the two of swords is really what I would want to see because you're then arming yourself for your future and as soon as it happens you really are going to start letting people in you're going to trust people because you're going to put all your insecurities behind you it's going to be a really positive journey that you're on and it all goes down to the moment you get that seed of confidence that moment that you've confronted whatever they've done you don't have to confront them to your to their face you don't have to message them you don't have to get closure from them you are gonna have that though you are gonna there's you're just gonna have that moment where you think they're not i'm not holding on to this anymore i'm gonna let go they're not worth my time so one oracle card just jumped straight out destiny and 10 10 we had the 10 of swords which is all about the end of a relationship now you're going to come to the end of your healing process it's going to take a while these things are not easy it's not going to be easy of course it's not but when it starts it's going to go really quick so i'm going to split the rest of the deck into four so that our angels can guide us the right way i've been drawn to this one straight away this time this is a very clear message we have prosper prosperity begins so you're going to come to the end of your healing process destiny is going to take you there and your period of prosper you're just gonna that's your seed you see this is your seed of confidence once that seed of confidence get put in you're going to grow into this beautiful tree and you're going to have someone there with you holding your hand at some point in the future when it's ready for you and it's really important it's going to be ready for you you're going to have material and spiritual prosperity which is fantastic whoever it is that comes into your life you're going to feel like you have control over yourself and you have you're just the the fears of insecurity and the fears of betrayal are not going to be there you're going to be at peace you're going to have a lot of spiritual well-being and if your ex has left you in any financial trouble that's going to get rectified or you're not going to get into that place again with anyone else so you are going to meet someone at some point there's going to be a lot of messages exchanged i think you're really going to be connecting it may be that you now go out dating you may have lots of different dates but at some point there's going to be a special someone who once you do start on your road that you're just going to be reaching out maybe you're just going to have short-term relationships but you're going to be fine with that because you know none of them can ever hurt you so we're going to have a look at where you might possibly meet. Oh, So let's have a look. Work or education. So work or education, that could be a workplace, your workplace. It may be that you go into their workplace. It may be they're working or they're on the way to work. You might be on the way to work or you may be at college or some kind of training. They may just be helping you with something. It may be someone who, if you're doing an online course, that you meet in that way. So just look out for that. When you're ready, when you feel your confidence growing, just look out for that. That's going to be an excellent way to meet people. Now let's have a look at an important month so that we've got a lucky month for you so that when you get to that month you can just relax find your inner peace and well-being and you're going to be fine october so whenever you're watching this reading october is going to be when you get your sen when your two of swords comes in to play you're going to get that feeling of healing and at peace and harmony and your internal struggles just going to really level out so within a tame time frame of when thing when you might find that serious one i don't think you're going to straight away be like right okay i've dated you twice now we're in a fully committed relationship i don't think you want that from anyone so let's see when you might find someone who's a little bit more long term So let's have a look within three years which is a perfect amount of time really because that gives you enough time to test the water to get to know yourself maybe there's some education or something that you're interested in some kind of learning that's for you maybe there's something at work that you want to train for so that you can move up a level i think this is going to be a really 
good period of time for you to really get a grasp on what you want and to enjoy being single as well so I think I just see you like casually day and people but within three years time within that so it could be less than that I think you're gonna find that one who you can hold hands with and you just gonna settle down for a while but it's not gonna be quite yet you've got some work to do but it's exciting you you know you're gonna uh, I think within three years time you're gonna look back on the ex that's done all this and they're not even gonna be important anymore which is fantastic, which is what we want to see. So I'm going to end the reading now. I'm going to wrap you in a bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on my way to my next reading. And I would like to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, then subscribe so that you don't miss out on your weekly uplift reading and your monthly uploads as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk. Welcome to your pick a card tarot reading. Your energy was drawn to number two. We're asking the question today, will you find love again and if it's looking likely when that might be we're going to look at further insight from the oracle deck we're going to do a celtic cross with a rider white smith deck and then i'm going to have a look at if you are going to meet someone then where it might be any lucky month that's coming up where something significant might happen and what extra time frames that we can get so I have already reset the decks. So I do that by dealing them into four and then I bring them back together and give them a good shuffle. I like to do that because I like to close the energy from any previous reading and open up a brand new energy. So I'm going to split the deck into four. Once I've finished shuffling. Yep, that feels right. So I'm going to split the deck into four. This means four seasons, four elements, most importantly, four angels. Four angels are going to surround us and offer us a circle of protection so that this message can be delivered and received with an open heart and good energy. The universe brought you here today because it's got a it's got a little message in here for you somewhere. The whole reading may resonate, or it might just be little bits, but there's a reason why the universe has brought you here. Now, the one that I've been drawn towards is this one. So I'm going to start with a Celtic cross. The first two cards are about you and the question. So we've got the Knight of Swords reversed, which is about aggression and blundering. And then we've got the Five of Swords reversed, which is about deception and malice. So I see that you have some kind of X in your background that didn't treat you exactly the way that you deserve to be treated. You deserved a lot more. And I think you're quite scared of if you do find someone else, how's it going to go? Will, it, will you end up in the same situation again? So let's have a look. What you're going through right now, you've got the Page of Swords, which is about broken promises. They're a bit of a quick thinker and they're very energetic. So there may be whoever your exes are or whoever you thought you had a love interest with, they may have broken a promise to you. So that's kind of what you're going through now, right now. So what are you trying to achieve? You've got the nine of pentacles reversed, which is about your assets being compromised. Maybe you're trying to protect your assets. Maybe you just want to make sure that you're financially secure for the future. That's what you're trying to achieve. And you'd like to share it with someone. Normally the um, nine of pentacles, the other way up, is about enjoying beautiful things, but alone. So you want to enjoy a beautiful future, but with someone else. That's what it's telling me you're trying to achieve. Then we have what you're going through right now is the hangman reverse. And that is all about you're a bit resistant to change. You think that if you change, it's hard to make changes when you have such a good routine and everything. But it may be 
you need to make changes because the things before have attracted the wrong people so you're just being a bit resistant to the change maybe you're at a point where you're thinking I don't know whether to go this way or I don't know whether to go that way and you're kind of just opting to stay where you are and that's not doing you any good either so opportunities to come is the king of swords which is really spooky it's in exactly the same position as my last reading yeah again there's a bullion ex who's kind of exploited you there's going to be an opportunity to confront what they've done you know your ex has not treated you right and i think you may have been dating recently you may have been dipping your toes into exploring maybe i am going to find love again but that's not gone too well and they're just not getting back to you and you feel like some broke promise has been broken or maybe you thought you and your ex might get back together but they've broken some kind of promise has been broken there's going to be a chance to confront that and there's going to be a chance to really put that to one side so let's have a look at the rest of the spread we have the secret question is the knight of pentacles which is about reliable thoughtful and a road to success so your secret question although your outward question is you're quite scared that someone new might treat you really badly or treat you the way your ex did. Your secret question is, will I find someone who is reliable? Am I good enough to have a thoughtful, caring, romantic person? Well, am I going to be on the road to success? So although that your initial question is quite linked to your past, your secret question is linked to your future. So we're going to look at the timing. That's the King of Cups reversed. The cups are either months or they mean the summer. So it could be over the summer, you could find someone, or months because it's a king that be. So that would be, I don't know, about 10 months, which about 10, 9 or 10 months would be next summer if you're watching this. In September 2019 if you're watching it in the future then that'll be 10 months from wherever you are now so we're looking at a time frame of that and I think that time frame you're gonna we've got harmony so that's temperance which is your attainment it's gonna take you about 10 months to really come to terms with what has happened to really come to terms with you might need to make some changes and it's you may just feel stagnant for a while there's going to be a come a point where you are going to be able to confront how they made you feel it may not be a face-to-face -face confrontment with them it's just going to be a confrontment with yourself about how you've been left feeling so you are going to get that balance and you are going to get that harmony coming possible outcome for the future is the sun which is absolutely fantastic do i think you're going to meet someone again yes i do you've got fulfillment, you've got material, you've got success, joy, um, happiness, you're going to get an inner peace, whatever's been and gone, you are going to get an inner peace, you're going to, I think you're going to accept being single for a while, so I think for about 10 months you're going to be single, and on that, and on that you're going to be on a road, you're going to be on a journey, you're going to be really learning things about yourself that you didn't already know, you're going to get your confidence back, you're going to be filling one hand with the other hand and it's just going to feel great and it's going to be worth it you've got the sun that's the best card to have on a possible outcome you're really going to put any betrayals or anything that's happened in the past with anyone else if you have like day in or you've been messaging anyone and they don't get back to you you're going to find ways to not let that bother you you're just going to be well you're not the one for me then that's fine you've got a very happy future very happy future so we're going to look at the oracle cards see if we can get any other clarification to have jumped straight out we have stand your ground i think that's with your ex and then we have positive movement forward fantastic so i think that's backing up the knight of pentacles so you want to know if you are going to move forward you are definitely going to move forward and it's going to be in a very positive way i don't think you're ever going to find yourself in that situation again you're never going to let anyone bother you that way again been drawn towards this one we'll get one last oracle card but these are really important so stand your ground if there's an ex playing up i think they might be the kind of ex who would like to crop up again i think maybe they do look at you on social media there's some kind of social media connection you need to stand your ground block them if you have to you don't have to be connected to them you don't have to let them have any kind of 
for you into your life if there's any friends or anyone who feeds information back to them put false information out figure out who that is and have it done with them stand your ground you have the right to a very happy future and you're gonna have a very happy future new beginnings fantastic this is what we want to see are you gonna have a are you gonna fall in love again yes but first of all you're gonna fall in love with yourself so I'm going to have a look at where you might possibly meet someone new. Holiday. Oh, look, that's a lovely sailing boat as well. So I think you may have a holiday that's near the sea. And it may be that when you meet someone new the first thing you do together is to go on a nice holiday together or they suggest to go on a holiday we've got the sun as well i think uh, you you're gonna have a beautiful relationship in the future i don't think it's going to be quick because we've got 10 months of healing you have got a lot of healing to do and that's un under understandable you really want to achieve having nice things around you and someone to share that with and i think that's going to happen so i'm going to look at a lucky month for you when you could do something nice for yourself oh i'm we'll come jumping straight back out have a look got october and then i'm going to have a look at the wider time frame of when things are likely the possible outcome is likely to when you get to the point it's going to feel like yeah this is right oh within 12 months which backs up the 10 month king card i mean the, the king card could be longer than 10 months but within 12 months you're gonna you're gonna have your new beginning you're gonna have a positive move forward you're gonna stand your ground with whoever's been and gone in your past you really you, this is really positive reading within within a year you are gonna be ready to go on holiday because the cups are also summer you're going to be ready to go on holiday. It may be a holiday with friends that you meet someone while you're there or comes along. Or it's just something really, really exciting. Anyway, I'm going to end the reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to the next reading. And I'd like to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on your weekly uplift reading and your monthly readings. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk. UK. Welcome to your pick a card tarot reading. Your energy was drawn to number three. In this reading, we're going to be asking the question, will I find love again? And if it looks likely, when it might be. We're going to look at the oracles for further clarification after we've done a Celtic cross with a Ride White Smith deck. I've also got where you might meet someone, a lucky month that may be coming up, and any further time frames that we don't get from the the cards themselves i've already um reset the decks i do that by dealing them into four piles and then i bring them together and i give them a good shuffle i do this so that i close down any energy from a previous reading so that we can be certain that this is your reading for you so i'm going to start off by splitting the deck into four this is for four seasons four elements most importantly, four angels. Four angels are going to surround us, offer us a circle of protection so the universe and the cards can just deliver this message and it can be received with an open heart. The one I've been drawn towards is this one. So let's see where we're at. The first two cards are about you and the question. So we've got the Knight of Swords reversed, which is about aggression and blundering. And we have the Knight of Wands reversed, which is about travel problems and decisiveness. There may be, I think there may be either two X's 
or two potential suitors that you may be between or there just may be two exes from the past maybe there's one ex from the past and you're not sure whether to go back or whether to go forward or there may i think there's or there could be like two people coming up or you're just thinking will i get will i get to choose if I do fall in love again will there be a choice or will it just be one person anyway let, i'm rabbiting on so let's get on with the reading we've got the what you're going through right now is the two of swords reversed which is about inner conflict and inner disharmony within yourself what you're trying to achieve you're trying to achieve the six of swords which is all about having a better future, being surrounded by angels as your guides, traveling overseas, maybe a holiday, maybe just a happier, secure, secure future for yourself. So that's what you're trying to achieve. What you have right now is a page of ones reversed. The ones are really coming out for you and the swords, which are both male cards as well, swords and ones. So anyway, I've lost track of what I'm saying. We've got the page of swords reversed, which is about what you have right now. So that can be someone who's quite shallow. So I think if you have got someone who's in your life right now who you think you might have a relationship with or who you, who you are investing feelings in, but you're not quite officially dating or there's something a little bit complicated going on or there's some an ex where they're... You can't really call them an ex, although they really are an ex because you were doing everything a couple would do, but they just wouldn't commit to you. They're quite shallow. That's what you have right now. Opportunities coming up. King of Pentacles, fantastic. Right way up as well. So that's a wonderful success. Things turn to gold, security. It's an opportunity. So whoever you've been investing time in, whoever you've been investing energy and whoever's causing you all this inner conflict whoever that is whether that's an ex whether that's someone you're talking to right now or whether that's someone you've got an eye on then they're, they're not they're not the one i don't see that they're the one they're all about the ones all about career you may know them at work i think there may be someone that you know via the internet as well or someone who you know through um education or some kind of activity that anyway i'm going on so we've got the queen of king of pentacles for your opportunity so there is going to be someone new come on you are definitely going to fall in love again and it's going to be the real deal you don't have to put up with all the little bits that someone might give you you can have the real deal you will have a real person who is upfront and honest and who will provide for you and who will be so happy to be in a relationship with you so your inner fears are change your inner fear is you don't like change that much but are you capable of change or stuff like that so that's just no one likes change but you might have to make some changes timing two of cups so the cups are about months or summer so it could be two months time or over the summer so whatever month you're watching this in whenever your summer is just take that on board so the time frame of maybe they come into your life or you get rid of everyone who's not worthy of being in your life it's kind of a two-month time frame attainment is the two of wands and that's about future plans partnerships so that's your attainment you're going to have a partnership with the king of pentacles and your possible outcome is a fool. So this relationship, you will fall in love again and it will be the right person. They are going to be the right person. They're going to, you're going to have material together. You're going to have things and you're going to live together and it's going to be right. And it's going to be a fresh start. They're going to help you make important decisions about your future. You're going to feel like that teenage person where you have that you don't when it's all new and fresh and you have all that feeling inside of you and and anything is possible they're going to make everything possible for you but if, if the fool in the olden days they would entertain the king but they would also mix with the people that worked in the castle so the fool can like um travel between all planes and all like classes and everything so the pool the fool has a lot of ability they're really quite intelligent but they don't 
act intelligent and it just gives them the edge over people and they have knowledge that others don't have so i think the king of pentacles when they come along maybe in two months time or over the summer they're just going to really open up the world for you it's going to be fantastic i mean look at the two of wands you're going to be stood with a hot with a world in your hands looking out on everything you could have whoever this is who you've invested in time with in the past or you're thinking about they're not they're not the one then they're not the one you're going to have a change you're going to have a better future you are going to lose the inner conflict if someone makes you feel conflicted about yourself if someone makes you feel confused or they make you feel bad about yourself they're not for you because the right person wouldn't do that the right person who stands next to you will do all they can to give you the world and you will do all you can to give them the world it has to be a two-way thing a relationship works because there's two people in the right place wanting the same thing for each other a relationship isn't one person giving everything and the other person just sidestepping and not really committing and just being really quite shady that's not a relationship but I think you know that I think that's why you've come here today because as much as you're scared of change you know the change has got to happen you know the people you know whoever this is that you need to put out of your life you know who it is so I'm gonna have a look at the oracles And again, I'm going to split the deck into four. And I've instantly been drawn towards this one. We will see what the oracles have to say. So, trapped by fear. Don't be scared of the future. You are going to have to make changes. If, if change scares you, you're just going to have to move forward. If you're scared of letting go of this person because you're thinking that's all you're worth let go of that fear because that's trapping you in a cycle of people who are not worth your time you deserve the king of pentacles you have that they're, they're going to provide so much for your own well-being power that's the king of pentacles they're there for you it's also two eights which is very good it's about fast progress it's about empowerment it's about coming out and feeling great about yourself and then we have obstacles and challenges. They're going to help you overcome challenges. You are going to have this big change. It is going to come. And letting go of people who aren't worth your time is quite scary. But there's something better. You are going to come over. You are going to get over any obstacles that you're going to put in your own way. Because I think they're obstacles that you put in your way. Not what circumstances put in your way. So I'm going to have a look at where you might meet the King of Pentacles. Let's bring him out here. So where might they meet? At work. So there may be someone at work. It may be that they come into your workplace or you go into their workplace or you're just linked by the same kind of job or something like that. Or it may be that you have the same ideas for um being your own boss and i think if anyone's going to be running their own business it might be the king of pentacles I might be completely wrong about that but that's where a possible place that you may meet or how you may meet i'm losing my voice so i'm going to look at a lucky month to see what month might stick out we've got this one February so in February whenever that is for you just take note it's February I mean Valentine's Day is in February so you may be having something very special on Valentine's Day this may be a February after you've got together this may be a proposal of marriage maybe I might be reaching there but I don't know it's made my hands sweat that's for sure so keep note of that once you get into your relationship february is going to be an important month at some point that's exciting so let's have a look at the overall time frame or if any other time frame that we need to take note of
within two years you're going to be in a settled and committed relationship with the king of pentacles you've got also got the two of cups here you've got the two of wands there and you've got the two of swords that may be the other way around but as far as two goes twos are about reorganization strength and choices you're going to have a meeting of minds with this person i think having the two of cups here because the two of cups can also be about commodity and commercial business so as much as there's a meeting of minds and love there could be a business element we've got work here as well so i think if you don't meet them at work then you're going to be entwined with financial security for the future together as well as in earning money so i'm going to leave the reading here i'm really excited for you i cannot wait i would love when when you meet this person to come back and tell me because this is going to be magical they're going to be amazing so thank you very much for watching i'm gonna wrap you in a bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way and my angels can take me on to my next reading if you haven't already then subscribe so that you don't miss out on your weekly uplift readings and your monthly uploads and i would like to thank you for watching again and i will see you soon personal readings are available on my website hopetarot-daily.co.uk